In the past six months, at least five mobile money operators have been shot dead and their money stolen. On the weekend, CCTV cameras on a private property recorded two men strangling and hitting a border border motorcycle rider to his death before making away with the machine. These incidents give rise to fear and questions in the public about their safety. Whereas a considerable amount of effort has been directed towards ensuring a safer Uganda, such incidents poke holes into what has been done. Dr. Solomon Masiko, a scholar of security studies and international relations, says the laxity lies within the security agencies. I want to think there is intelligence failure. Uh, there could be intelligence failure in the sense that the security forces, the police, the army and the others may not have enough information. And that information intelligence comes from the people. There seems also be lack of coordination among us, the agencies, but also the agencies and the people. About a year ago, President Yoweri Museveni addressed Parliament about his new strategy to nip insecurity in the bud. His 10-point plan included fingerprinting all legally held guns, installing electronic signals and number plates on every vehicle and motorcycle. All motorcycle riders were not to wear hooded clothing while riding, setting up a modern forensic laboratory, installation of cameras on town roads and streets and along highways, speed of police response, misuse of social media, acquisition of more scanners under the Uganda Revenue Authority to check all containers coming into and exiting the country, and a small, professional, well-equipped army backed by a large reserve force. I am, I am sad, I am angry, but I am confident that we are going to defeat these pigs. Those who are doing bad things are endangering themselves. We shall crush them. The police spokesperson, Fred Enanga, told NTV that fingerprinting for guns is ongoing and that 48% of the installed cameras are working. Out of 1,248, 1,038 sites have been installed. Cameras online that are actually active are 1,565 out of 3,233. The, the criminals know these cameras. They will hide, okay? They will not go where cameras are. But the threats today, I'm trying to say, they require the application of intelligence and soft power, okay? Yes. More than the law and order and military tools. The police crime report for 2018 lists robberies as being higher in rural areas than in towns. It also showed that the number of murders by shooting were 79, while the reported deaths by shooting were 190. Walter Mwesije, NTV.